don't adjust your YouTubes or your podcasts. It's not Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. It is Friday. It is the fifth episode of Clyder Live this week. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Christian Harloff, and we are excited to be here for this mini, but not and not any less special episode of Collider Live, and uh, Josh McCougal will be joining us very soon, but joining us once again, back from yesterday, we didn't scare her away, Darina is mm. back, hello Darina. Not yet, hi, how are you guys? Great shirt. Thank you. And you actually bought that shirt. I did. Amazing. And it's like the lowest quality <laughs> shirt ever. ever, but I love it. Yeah, and that, we'll see, that one was not made by us, that one was made by Finstock, and you can tell, like, he just kind of, yeah, <laughs> he just slapped an image up there and just, and, and Got lucky there because Darina bought one. I told him, I said, that's not how you design a shirt. He doesn't know what he's doing. He probably, you're lucky he didn't iron it on himself. Yeah. He probably did. Yeah. He probably did. I wouldn't be surprised. Yeah. Uh, joining us also, killing it yesterday on the production side of things and reading oh. the news. But he's not here today, Mark Riley. So John Roca <laughs> is joining us again. <laughs> well, what's up, man? How are you? I'm good. I'm good. good. I'm, uh, it's a good Friday morning. I, I had an actually decent night of sleep. I woke up. My girlfriend was like, why are you so peppy? I go, I don't know. You get these occasionally every once in a while. Yeah. As you get older, they're rarer and rarer. Yeah, she so you just should, enjoy she shouldn't complain about it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. She, it, it, you've been going through a lot of this stuff. Mm -hmm. A lot of the moving stuff. Yeah, man. I talked to Roca yesterday, and I was like, oh, flashing back. I felt like I was in a DeLorean because some of the stuff that, he was, <laughs> that you were going through. Tell, me, tell, tell us the, the fans <laughs> What, what what the hell was going on with the, with the moving and you're yeah, getting yelled, you getting yelled at for vacuuming? Yeah, that, like uh, we got a, a carpet. We order from Amazon. She orders everything. Like she right. designed. I just said you design you it. it. Yeah, yeah. Right. Well, how much do you need? Whatever. And she orders it. But like we got the carpet uh, two nights ago. I get home from a long day here, and I'm just like, okay, I'm gonna lay out the carpet for you. She's lying on the couch under seven blankets because she's always cold. Right. <clears throat> no matter how hard the heat is. And I'm just like, okay. So I start cutting the blanket. I'm about to lay it down. And she goes, what are you doing? And I go, what do you mean? I'm unlay the blanket. She, no, you've got to sweep first. All right. So, damn it. Is All that right. Vance? I'm going to sweep. Yeah, right. Basically. <laughs> sweep! So I start oh, sweeping. Oh, there he is. Oh, there he's really here. rushing there he through. I'll slam the door. Oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. <laughs> and then she's like, and then I start to lay it down after I sweep the floor. And she's like, no, no, you've got a vacuum now. So there's this, all these protocols that she has for how things need to get done. And I'm just like, I'm like, okay, well, this well, is why, part of it. Don't why do you keep messing up? Yes, yeah, yeah, exactly. exactly. That's the you're answer right. on that, on that right. side. But I, what I told you yesterday is, which, see, because you're not having kids and you don't have kids, because uh, people out there having the same problem as mm. Roka, like Makuga probably has right now. Sure. Wait until you have kids, <laughs> because then it all changes. Then, then, then you don't know what. Then the you don't care. Yeah. No, no, oh no, oh no. Then you don't yeah. know what the rules yeah, are, yeah. because <laughs> especially when you have a baby that, that, that doesn't sleep. So I passed out on the couch the other night, and I, I was, and so my wife was like, okay, listen. So here's the, the first always, wake up. That always ends well. See, the first, the first wake up. The baby's gonna cry. We're just gonna, we're gonna let her cry for a little bit, and then she'll, she'll fall back asleep. I'm like, okay, cool. She's like, I'll come get you if I need you. Perfect. So I, pa so I passed out. Baby starts crying. So I said, okay, I'm just gonna wait. Wife comes out. Why didn't you get her? <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Okay. Then the next. So then I go and I and I get her and she's like, she make sure if you hold the baby, if she's in the, if she's in the chair, hold it for ten minutes, hold it for 10, 10 minutes, and then let her pass out because because yeah. if you hold her too late, she's gonna get comfortable. I'm like, I got it. So I'm in the chair. Like, Nine minutes now. <laughs> ten, ten. All right. It's about twelve minutes. I put her in there. Baby starts crying. She comes in. That was too fast. What is going on? Is this the Hunger Games? I'm like, I don't know what's, what is. I mean, and this, that's just two of the rules. Yeah. I don't know the other 80 rules, but well, uh, I, I, I do the husband rule of let me set the bar so low as far right. as expectations oh, when it smart. comes to simple things, right? Like the cleaning or like I'm a very very clean person but Amanda likes the bed made a certain way she yeah. likes her pillows in a certain place she's an interior designer so she oh, likes to come man. to a home that looks perfect okay like it looks like it should be a photo taken like the flowers are facing the Perf way the sun hits them correct and all yeah. of no that worries about Ellis ever stealing your girl <laughs> no <laughs> <laughs> definitely not so I have set the bar so low when it comes to that stuff that she just like I'll, I'll take care of it I'm like I'll be in bed watching TV see <laughs> <laughs> That's last night. Like his wife has a sinus infection right now, okay. right? So I had to go and go to the CVS to pick to pick up the the, the prescription. I'm like, I'm making that just make sure she's nice and comfortable. <laughs> so she's like, okay, I need these these two things. So like, great. So normally when you say to the CVS, here's the name, here's Harloff, you know, they give yeah. you they give you everything that that's in the, the system. Mm -hmm. So they give me this package. I'm like, I must have both of them in there. <laughs> nope. Get back. <laughs> just has the one. <laughs> so she's like. Oh, it's just like Ralph's all over again. It's like going to the supermarket. And I'm like, oh. 
So I go back and I'm like, and I look at the lady like she did me wrong. Yeah. Right? I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, there were two things. Was it William Defoe? No, no, it wasn't William Defoe. Will, William Defoe. Cody, there's a little thing that I think that I should say to William Defoe after I, you know, say, well, listen, you listen to the show. Nine. Not nine. Not nine. No, no, we we pulled a, we pulled a couple cl uh, other clips from a show that I'm sure you would love to see mm. soon. But there was one particular clip that I think would fit Willem Dafoe. Cody, if the shoe fits, bitch tits. <laughs> if the shoe fits, bitch tits. Um, but but anyway, so I get back and I give and I give her uh, I, give, I give the the, the pharmacist the eyes. I'm like, you know, you could have made this easier on me. You could have you, you know you could have made you know. it easier on me. Um, a little bit, you screwed me over a little bit. A little bit. I'm looking. There's only one thing. Could have been two. Life could have been easier. But you knew. You knew. You did what you know. You, 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 know, you know what you did. You know what you did. And and so I get this thing. First of all, this country, when it, and I know it's been done to death, but with medical, it's a joke. Oh, yeah. So the one thing I did have on my medical insurance was 15 bucks. There's no spray. Wild guess how much this thing co would have cost because the, the nice pharmacist helped me out. But how much it would have cost because it wasn't on my insurance. Guesses? One, uh, one, nine. Yeah, like one thirty. <laughs> one seventy five. One thirty. I don't know how you knew that, but wow. one thirty is the, is the guess of how much. I don't know how insurance spread. for a while. <laughs> you, when you don't, but insurance. If you have insurance, ten bucks. Yeah. No insurance. One hundred thirty bucks. And I said to the woman, I was like, "Is there gold in this?" And she and she looks at me like, "Huh?" And, and then they get the other the other guy, and he puts a coupon in there. It was like thirty five bucks. This is fine, but it was just. I mean, what a disaster of a night. What you wow. said though, sucks. where yeah. you're like, you Amanda always grabs my arm before I'm about to make a comment when somebody says a price of something. Right? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. She's always like, "Don't!" And we're like, we get to the window. Hey, how much is it? She's like sixty four fifty. Like, what? I get a blowjob with that? She's like, <laughs> Stop! Like, she knows. She, she grabs now. Oh, yeah. so, oh man. So anyway, see. But why do they let us do anything? If that's the thing that I get back to, Josh, right? You're saying you got the lowest comment because you should know how. Yeah, right? Why do, do you? We're terrible with the at this eyes. shit. No, I. We're terrible at this. You shit. guys are really bad at stuff, apparently. <laughs> I don't. It's because yeah. we're 99 percent of it. Yeah. Yeah. My, my husband's super smart, apparently. Mm -hmm. you guys he's learned, are just dumb. Well, how long have you been married? You, <laughs> you know what? Well, no, we've been together. Well, we we haven't been married that long, but we've been together for 12 years. Right. But how long did it take to to learn your ways? To train him. Was not my ways. We, you know, I got a compromise with him too. It's a partnership, right? So we do stuff. The way he likes it, and some stuff the way I like it. I live in a sexual dictatorship. Is wow. basically what it is. No, I'm, I'm kidding. Sorry. Uh, I mean, that sounds kind of kinky. No, no. I mean, listen. Good for you. The old sl the slogan: Happy wife, made happy a good deal. life. Hey, yeah, yeah, made hey, a good deal. Made a good deal. Yeah. Yeah. Happy wife. Ha listen, Amanda is not tough on anything really, mm. except for You're like just lazy. this. Lo no, I'm not lazy <laughs> at all. Like my whole place is a very, very clean apartment. Right. It does not look like a guy's apartment. I mean, when she moved in, there was movie posters on the wall, but it was Those a gun. Oh, I had yeah, to sell yeah. my gun. Yeah, to sell them. See, oh yeah. Oh man, just I hang have them up here? too many toys. I actually have. We have too many toys, and yeah. they're mostly mine. No, oh. we have. Yeah, what they it call. looks. It looks like a 13 year old, like mm. right. like a teenager. Yeah, see, that's a bit. But you're you're an anomaly too. You're, you're not yeah. an anomaly, but you're you're part of the female geek culture, which is awesome. You know, there's and it's. The one person. What are you calling me a nerd? Because yes. you're, you're you're a bigger nerd. <laughs> yeah, no shit, but I'm not I'm not a female. Um, but the thing, but that's. But then you're saying that there's not a lot of females that there's collect pocket. shit. No, no, no. It's a I'm pocket. Not saying, not saying that. It's a pocket. Mm -hmm. It's a, because I can tell you. It's the one percent. It, 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 I'd say probably a little, I, I little bigger than that. I think bigger yeah. than that. I think it's growing, and it's and I think that there are shows like whether it's this or the cult. It's it's cooler now to be geek. You know, it wasn't. Cool. Well, that's it the thing, cool right? It, it, is mm -hmm. it the fact that we've always been around, or the fact that we actually? I come from the generation where we still got bullied for liking Star Wars. Right. Mm -hmm. right? Right. Now it's cool to like Star it's Wars. It's starting to so. cool now. But I mean, but the thing is, um, you know, it, it, there are a lot of people like my wife. Not a geek. No. Your wife, mm -hmm. not a geek. Not mine either. My my friend that I went to school with. Right. Um, when we were like the, at the comedy show, they were talking about everything around the sun, and she was laughing her ass off. Right. They started talking about Star Wars. She just turned zone <laughs> away. So she said, she said it. She's like, the second they started talking about Star Wars, I just started thinking about my my bills. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's like, and that's how a lot of people yeah, are. Yeah. Um. But anyway, so it's it's you're in you're in a very neat mm. kind of yeah. your niche. Yeah. Because yeah it's is your husband a geek too? Yeah, yeah. We're both nerds. Yeah. yeah. See, yeah. That's that's that's, that's yeah. the thing. That's why we have the weird. Stuff going on in bed that you were asking about the other day. Uh, yeah. I did. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably. I'm so delirious. I probably did. I don't remember. I'm, I'm allowed yeah. to have six figures on the right. desk. That's it in our office in the back. Uh, everything else is now in a box in the closet. You got six. I just, I just yeah. go back to it. Now six. I'm going to dress like a Power Ranger. <laughs> and oh, yeah. And she you won't go see any superhero. No, movies. I'm talking about her. Oh, oh. <laughs> 
And, like, and I'll be Thor. <laughs> I, I'm oh, the well, pink ranger. It's cooler than that. <laughs> <laughs> Lightning coming out. What's cooler than that? Um, you know, I'm the pink ranger. I'm the naked ranger. <laughs> right, the the hammer is my penis. <laughs> By the penis of Thor! By the penis of Thor! <laughs> Stormbreaker. Yes. That's a little much. <laughs> <laughs> it depends. So, you know what we were talking about before you got in? Did you ever see the movie Teeth? Teeth? Is it scary? Yes. Yes. No. I really want to see that. I almost want to show him a trailer because, but uh, you know, it's, it's, they don't like when we show trailers because we can't. They, they can't see us. Perry made me watch this Pet Cemetery trailer. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, what do you She's think? She's like, oh, are you gonna go see that? I was like, what? Right. In what <laughs> world? Did Does you... that look like something that I would see? I yeah. screamed three times. Did you ever see the original? <laughs> yeah. Did you finish watching yeah, the trailer? Yeah, Christian, I saw the original. Oh no! I mean, you saw you saw Friday the Thirteenth Part Two, so you maybe. Did. Yeah, that's true. You know, so it's always possible. That was, that was the one. What do you think yeah. of the Pet Cemetery tra- trailer? It's, it's terrifying. Yeah. It actually looked pretty creepy. Is that I like Fede Alvarez? Sorry? Who's who Fede Alvarez directing that one? I don't know. Who's, Who's directing that one? Good question. John Lithgow's beard is, is creepy. It? It's uh no, is that that's the old one. Hey, who's directing the new one? Do you remember who was in the old one? I can't see. Oh, it's two directors, Kevin Kalsh and Dennis Widmere. Is that yeah. that is the Widmeyer? Widmeyer. I don't know. I don't Kevin Kalsh. Yeah, um, they did Starry but, Eyes. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. but Stephen King is involved, right? Stephen he, he King. Wrote yeah, 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 yeah. I think yeah, I, or something. I actually think yeah. that he's more involved in this one than the other one. Mm-hmm. Um, but the reason I brought up uh, Teeth, we were talking yeah. about it beforehand, and that's a movie I feel like you would. I know that, that I Dentist. didn't know about it, and I feel like that's totally my jam. No, it's about a girl who gets like an it's like an alien, that, and their vagina starts k- killing people. Yeah. Which oh sounds, wait, I've heard of this. Yeah. Which sounds like I would have written that. Yes. What's sure. the movie that they made me watch where if you have sex, then somebody chases you? Oh, oh, that's it. Follows. It follows. It follows. It follows. It follows. Boo. You didn't like it. Follows. Everybody loved it. Mm-hmm. Cody, you love it, right? Yeah, I enjoyed it a lot. Thanks, Cody. Eh, I thought Sorry, it was. I, was I thought it was simple. Like, I get the premise yeah. or the conceit. Yeah. And it just wasn't like, mm. scary at all. Yeah. Did you yeah. see it, Josh? Yeah, they made me watch it. And you thought it was scary. Terrifying. I smell, really? Wow. Hold on. Wow. I smell a fart. Okay. Uh, Cody, when you say you're distracted, what were you doing back there? <laughs> Looking up sound bites. Is that true? <laughs> yeah. Are you doing something else that I'm going to find out about in a tweet later? No, no, I'm not doing anything. <laughs> all right. Are you collecting right more now. headphones? Yeah. No. <laughs> no. Lying no. son of a bitch. Right <laughs> now. I, you, yeah, I can already, already see it. I can't wait for the tweets. Um... <laughs> Anyway, so yeah, because well, I don't know what we were talking about. The reason we led up to that teeth wipes dentata teeth no, vaginal no. dentata all that. But anyway, so look, Friday's episode is kind of a short episode, and we're gonna hey, recap. Friday, oh my God, Rebecca Black, where does oh, she wow. go? Where no. does she go? What is she doing with herself? Um, this is kind of a recap of things that had happened. If we, there's particular things that stick out to you from the thing the, from some of the moments of the show that happened this past week. Please bring it up. We'd love to talk about it. It was hashtag Collider Live for you guys watching right now. Roka will be going through the the Twitter and Mm -hmm. and letting us know what were some of the moments this week that stuck out the most. I would tell you, I think that everybody is going to say this first, so I will be the first to say it. It's obviously Jean Claude Van Damme. Um, We got one of the best uh, sound bites of all time (laughs) from it from now on. Some cookies. We want some cookies. (laughs) Yeah. What else? Lots of milk. Yeah. (laughs) I said, yeah. All right, well, good. I mean, that could have been in one of his movies. It, it absolutely yes. could have been. I was in the shower this morning, and I started giggling. Did you think <laughs> thinking about, about that it's interview, the okay? Because there's at one point where he's talking about the secretary and the daughter, and then you, like, seriously ask him a question about, yeah. like, did you ever think to help? And he's like, no, 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 no. <laughs> right. And then, zing, and I, he's, like, <laughs> he's like, because the woman, she, she, she sees the daughter, she's just looking. And when I would, and she sees me, she don't want to see me. She want to look, and I'm like, whatever, man. Well, I, <laughs> you got it. During the interview, I, I was looking at Roxy because I was at the back of Mark's head, right? Yeah. And a couple times, I just kind of like poked Roxy, <laughs> and she looked at me, he's like, it was so good. It was so <laughs> good. Um, Your guys' faces were actually really great, right. yeah. and you, you and Mark just looked like you were in love with him. I mean, we were. I was so excited to talk to Jean Claude Van Damme yeah. and like meet the guy. And I mean, you, I watched. Lionheart probably a hundred oh, times. Okay? I, I was more in awe of him after than I was before. Yeah, I was way more in awe of him afterwards. <laughs> he's just a madman. He's 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 a, to- he's a tornado. Yes, he is a tornado. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Listening to it 
coming into work today again on the podcast, you don't know when he's talking about a character in his movie and he's right. talking about it's himself. Yes. Too, it's yeah. mind-blowing. Yeah. You, you catch up five minutes later that he's acting mm -hmm. about a character. Right. He's like, I was in this drug den and I do this and I do this. And you're like, wait, is he playing? And I go and see the burn people and talk to them. And I'm like, wait, wait, are you? <laughs> you're doing, are you you're doing your El Pollo Loco voice. Oh, am I? <laughs> I mean, he's a Latino. He's still working on his spoonsmanship. He's <laughs> working on it. Hey, working, Luke, on. I'm working on it. But at <laughs> points, he does have that deep voice. Yeah. So yeah. It sounds a little like Spoon. <laughs> yeah, that was true. No, he does. Yeah. He was so he locked in. It was yeah. amazing. Yeah, you're right, though. You it was know a blast. I, I, I was locked in. And I knew he was talking about the character, but I could understand where everybody else was confused out of their minds. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, so that that's that's <laughs> obviously Van Damme. We talked about it to death. Th yesterday, whether or not you get a kick out of this or not, it still was pretty funny. I'm walking to Chipotle, and I'm walking up, and there's a guy that's on his headphones, and he's sitting down, and he sees me. He goes, hey, hey. When a goldfish here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. goldfish and, here. And I was like, yes. and I, I started laughing. I was like, it's, yeah. it's amazing. And, and then yeah. I asked, as I walked back out, I asked him, I said, do you want some cookies? <laughs> he, said, he goes, I said, yes. <laughs> <laughs> so a fan of the show. So it was, it was nice. It was nice. Hey, uh, Christian, yes. can you fix the schnip? Poster. It's crooked. Oh, she got the OCD. I don't like it when posters are crooked. Yeah, yeah. I do. Yeah. Thank you. Do you have OCD? Yeah. Oh. Everybody's got a little bit. A little bit of something. Yeah. Right. But I don't like crooked posters. See that? Hearing that, I don't buy that everything's hunky dory over at the at the Dorian house. Of course not. Nobody said it was hunky dory. I'm just saying we try to compromise. Right. Saying hunky dory. No, please. I'm. I did. No. I I yell in Spanish. Oh. It happens, of course. Does he speak Spanish? No. So a little bit. Oh, yeah. now you taught him. Yeah, could you taught no. him. <laughs> <laughs> he only knows bad words. Right, right, right. right. That's it. I one, I okay. One time in my life, I was living in New York, <laughs> and I it was like one of those crazy nights where it's like three in the morning. I start talking to this girl. I end up back at her place, and she is she's speaking Spanish to me, and I was like, this is. Very attractive. A little poppy talk. I liked it, yeah. Mm. And so we wake up the next morning. She's like talking, she's saying all terrible <laughs> things. Yeah. And you're like, right. this yeah, is so yeah. attractive. Yeah. I, had that, I had that happen to me once with Bai Ling when she was on the, she was on the show. Oh. I like, talked to her sexy and she's just insulting the hell out of us all. <laughs> <laughs> so I woke up the next morning and I was like, could you keep speaking Spanish to me? She's like, that was one time only. I was like, what? Right. Like, Why? And so, like ten minutes later, I was yeah, I'm still doing there, thing. right? You yeah. know, and I was like, "Come on, you know, you want to speak Spanish?" And she just starts screaming at me. And screaming. <laughs> I I walk. <laughs> not German, thank God. That'd be scary. That's scary. Uh, so I leave and I go home to my apartment in New York. My three minutes are like, what happened to you last night? And I was like, I think I'm in love. And my buddy's like, did you hook up with that Spanish speaking girl? I was like, yeah. He's like, I did last week. I was like, I'm not in love. <laughs> <laughs> I'm done. I'm done. Why not? Uh, Why? Why though? Because it's, it's Why? We li I live because with you the dude. Because you thought, oh, okay. okay. I live with that guy. Communal. Okay, okay. You yeah, don't want to be communal. It's <laughs> junket brothers. You know. Not if you're in love. I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah, if you want to, you know, be in love. Right. If you want to date, it's different. Sure. It's yeah. different. I, yeah. I did, and I just wanted her to keep speaking Spanish to me yeah. In, yeah. in that situation. You know, I'm but then if you my... live with someone like my husband, he gets to live with me where I wake up in the morning and I just start mumbling in Spanish. No. And he's like, ¿Qué? <laughs> like, he's like, yeah. what are you saying to me? You know? And yeah. then I forget. But at this point, he probably just says, ah, it's just her talking gibberish. Yeah, yeah probably. Right. Yeah. right. Yeah. In the beginning, it was probably trying to figure it out and decipher yeah. what the hell was going on and then yeah. forget it. Do you think if you at had some point, you just stop listening just, to each other. Right. <laughs> yeah, after year five. Do you think if you had night terrors like me, they would be in Spanish or English? Oh, I'm sure, in Spanish. I, okay. I actually speak in Spanish in my sleep. Oh, you Like, do? when I'm dreaming. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. your dreams are in Spanish? Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think. See, that's. Right. See, I'm always so intrigued by that in the sense of like, yeah. if it's your first language. Yeah, yeah. but mm -hmm. if you are speaking English pretty much primarily, like, does that ever flip over? Because like my yeah, brain all the is time. a strange thing. Yeah. All the time, and that's the thing. Like here, I'll forget words. You know, anytime I'm speaking to you guys, like I'll be like, oh, like what's that word in English? Right. It's, right. It sucks. <laughs> it's, yes. yes, it's really annoying. Yeah, it's yeah. tricky. And thing. then I just it just yeah. feels I just feel dumber because I have two separate brains yeah. it's not dumber I mean yeah. I would love to be bilingual my little niece uh, my Amanda's sister their, her husband speaks Spanish they speak English so the, the child is confused at this point right. which is hysterical but she says words to me back in Spanish and then says them back in English so I'm, I'm confused now but I the thing is like the, with the brain with like the first language yeah. second language thing yeah. and now I sound like Van Damme yeah. uh, yeah. with yeah. the brain That's I'm right. always interested of like okay, I, look, I look at the brain and I think to myself I wish it had legs <laughs> yes. once I can play football and the brain's daughter yeah. is right. having I, trouble thinking yeah. I, yeah. I live in Hong Kong so I know I love to I want to have a meal if you're, like a brain. if you're bilingual, you end up just honestly like just random stuff comes out of your mm -hmm. mouth sometimes. Right. Yep. Like I can't count in English. 
You can't. Like, I, wow. like, or I count, I count slower. Like, if oh. I'm like, if I'm like, right. I'll literally be like yeah. one, two, three. I'll be like, oh no, let's, let's go, let's go. Like, it's way right, right. easier just, just to do math eight. in Spanish. I don't know why. Well, how many? So weird. Nine. Ocho. Nine. Nine. Ocho. Eighth. What? Oh, nine. Nine. Oh, nine of them. Okay, fine. He's speaking the song in the heist. Thanks, <laughs> good. That was really, really, really good. good. But you know what's funny about that is that that conversation yesterday really mm. made me upset that I never learned German. Yeah. Because oh, yeah. my kids would listen to me, I'll tell you that. <laughs> but, you know, it, just do it now. What, Download it, Duolingo, the app. And just learn it? Yeah. I mean, well, he said, like he said, it's, it's really a hard. difficult. It, and be, uh, you know but what? speak Even, normally, don't I, yell. I, I, no, I should actually mm. s scream and yell the gibberish at them because mm. maybe, Nine. yeah, because maybe it's like, hey, my, my daughter, every, every morning, it's like she's reading the Harry Potter book and it's like, one more page. Yeah. Where we put your socks on. One more page. I'm just gonna, one more page. <laughs> do you want some cookies? <laughs> do you want some cookies? <laughs> Speaking of the sign of the heist. Yeah, yeah, you do that, and it's just she didn't put those fucking socks mm -hmm. on. I'll tell you that. Mm -hmm. um, anyway, uh, anything else that stuck out this week, Joshua? Well, you know, I think we had a rough day yesterday. Yeah. yeah. Collider family. Oh yes. Um, you know, a lot of tweets, and I, I, I was texting Mark a lot last night. Riley, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, you know, Cal was the schmo dog. Cal was, you know, like the office mascot. He was our buddy. He was every, uh, you know, I was one of the boys. Yeah, mm -hmm. Cal and I became best buds because I have, you know, I just gave him treats all the time. Right. So he knew if he was around me, yeah. I would just give him chips and snacks. And the one time I gave him that cheese and he knocked Tiffany Smith out with a fart. Do you remember, I that? remember the that. Star Wars I, draft? That was at the draft at, yeah. at Riley's old house. <laughs> Riley yeah. just screams, Did you give him cheese? <laughs> <laughs> I, was like, I did. Yeah, it was brutal. Yeah, it was brutal. And his farts were legendary. Yeah. And uh, anytime mm -hmm. he was in the office you know back in the old office when ken mark and i shared that writer's room cal always just there. stayed yeah, with yeah, us yeah. he was our buddy and uh you know i created a voice for him and when you think about you know people animals all that kind of thing it's just you always expect them to be there and when they're not it's, right. a, it's a weird thing to comprehend yeah it's, yeah it's just tough because they age so fast yeah, yeah. Said it yesterday too but for those of you who didn't know uh cal the schmo dog wonderful dog passed away at the uh, age of 12 i believe mm -hmm. uh, too and he was uh he was a great great dog we loved him he was a buddy and um yeah we'll miss him i mean it was it was really cool to see all the love because because he's you know he's been on camera yeah. and he's mm -hmm. been he's been on the, he was on the Schmo show many yeah. times he had his own shirt mm -hmm. um, there were a lot of things that he did so the the fans were out there and they're reaching he was on the Schmo down a handful of times yeah. and um, so yeah he, he'll be missed you put him in a storyline we did put him in a storyline yeah, 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 yeah the dog getting kidnapped well we thought <laughs> that we thought Cal. Bateman we thought Bateman kidnapped him but it turned out to be that skunk Kalinowski that skunk um, Kalinowski yeah. yes and then, I wonder how he feels today I wonder I know I wonder if he I wonder if he tweeted anything out about the yeah. dog that he kidnapped because he camper. stinks son of a bitch. <laughs> It stinks. <laughs> um, but anyway, Cat will miss him uh, dearly. Yeah. Riley will be back on the show on Monday, and we'll, I'm sure we'll, we'll talk to him. I know that he was very moved. He was moved back, and he yeah. was he was touched by all the love that he had received. So you know, he's, yeah. he's taking the day off. Obviously, yeah. I also yeah. texted with him and Julie yesterday, yeah. and I just you know they, I obviously we all send their love, send yeah. them our love, and we love you guys, and and we'll miss Cal for sure. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, anything else that we have in here? Yeah, there's you got something, Roka? That I know you put something that was funny. It was Roxy and the waitress? Yeah, I didn't know. I don't know the story. Can you can we talk about? Can you have to tell me now because right, right. it's been like six days. You didn't know either. Yeah, uh, okay. yeah here's the abridged. So the, do you know any of the story? No, no. Just what people all have been right, tweeting so about it. This is a very small part of the story is that, and it's a big story. <laughs> Makuga and um, Makuga and Roxy would go to. Now that we we've said the restaurant, oh, the, yeah. Ellis said the restaurant. Okay. Um, I, but go back and listen to it if you mm -hmm. want to learn the restaurant. But they go to this restaurant all the time. They have these meetings together before they do their TV mm -hmm. talk. And then this waitress that they've been having wait on them for time and time and it comes over and one day casually drops that her boyfriend is a big fan of Adolf Hitler. Yeah. What? Um, yeah, big Hitler fan. Wanted to, wanted the, to the, go. The line was, we love Hitler. Yeah. We well, love Hitler. No, 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 no. No, he loves he Hitler. He literally, they literally said that. Yes. The he, words, oh, we he love loves Hitler. Hitler. He's not a racist or anything. He just loves Hitler. I was what? like, the Right. What? Yeah, right. And he wants to go, in, and they want to go to Germany and and, and visit all. It's not like a history buff. Yeah. Like that, I there's guess. no Hitler tour. There's, no. But there's history. <laughs> there's, right. What are you talking but, about? but there's World War. There's World War II. Oh, sure. like, this is where right. he invaded right. and stuff like that. There's, but it's all negative. Right. <laughs> like they didn't say we love history. Th that's they, what I they said. We love. History. That's what I said. They, they, I'm a World War II buff, and I would want to mm. go and say, Oh my God, that's where this oh, madman sure. invaded sure. here. So, you yeah. know, this is where allegedly, you know, this is this is where he killed himself. This is where he did this. Um, yes. That type of stuff is fascinating to me, but supporting him, <laughs> not so much. Right. Yeah. So, so then, so that had happened, and then they were they hadn't gone back in months, and they didn't know what to do. 
now they know that this woman is there with a boyfriend who loves and Hitler. Roxy, wow. who is a, a Jewish woman, Uh-oh. and we both looked at each other as kind of like, do we say something to management? Because this girl, I don't want her to lose her job, right. but she needs to be corrected in the fact that you really should never say those words. Right. right. And she was, I mean, the, the they, whole story was real quick. It was like, my, my boyfriend's Bolivian and German, and, and you know, a lot of the Nazis fled to South America, so they fled to Bolivia and Argentina and Wait. Brazil and all that kind of stuff. As the son of Bolivians, what are you talking about? So, so her boyfriend is half Bolivian, half, half German. German. Well, yes. the German part, okay, but like yeah. the Bolivian part is where the question lies. Right. So he's like, she's like, we go to, we've been to Bolivia, we're going to Germany because my boyfriend loves Hitler. He named his son Adolf. Oh, right. They named it Adolf. Oh, right. my yeah, yeah, yeah. God. Right. So there's an issue. <laughs> like, it's a thing. Well, John. here's the deal. Here's the deal. What? She probably felt comfortable enough with you to share that, that obviously, because you guys have gone over So you can, and, and you got to ask yourself, it's freedom of speech in this country. Where's the line? There. Because you can go. That's yeah. the line. Did you guys ask her or, or him, like, what do, what her, do you her. love or what does your boyfriend love about him? They were in, they were in shock. Renat, when I say they I was in, in shock. shock and I looked at Roxy and both, like, I almost spit out my iced tea right. when the words, he loves Hitler. It would, e- it would be easier for Hitler. a waiter to be walking out with his dick hanging out than it would have been for that. <laughs> if I were to go, I kept put. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Yard House. Yeah, sorry. I Try the cheese dip. <laughs> yeah. Don't That's use a, that though. Have you had the pokey nachos? <laughs> Did you give him cheese? <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Cody, stop it. <laughs> so, would you like to say Hitler chocolate cake? <laughs> Roxy and I were both. German chocolate right. cake. Yeah. Roxy and I both. Do you like the like... tasty sausage? <laughs> Do we say something? Right. Like, do we say? Right. What no, do we say? It's, it's, hey, yeah, hey, manager, um, I'm not sure if like this is. Uh, so this is part. So this is part. Your employee of, loves Hitler. Right, so here's the part of the. <laughs> well, here's the part of the story that you don't know. Okay. Yeah. So Roxy then had having the same dilemma that you've been having over the last couple of months, and then her grandmother really gave it to her, yeah. um, and said like, "This is, yeah, I'm, I'm ashamed that you didn't say anything." Oh. So next, she goes back. She's there for a meeting that she met with somebody, and then. She just couldn't walk out of the the restaurant without saying something. So she walks over. She saw the girl, by the way. Uh The girl came up for a second, dropped something, but knew something was up and then just kind of took off, right? Right. So she goes up to the the manager and she says to the manager, uh, tells him the whole story. And the manager is pretty much like you were. And didn't know how to handle it, and what what does he say? He says, uh, "Want some cookies?" And they did not say that. <laughs> no, did not say that. But I mean, I probably would have been better than what he did say. And he he looked and he said, "He goes, he said, well, you know, this is why we never really say Merry Christmas. We just say Happy Holidays." And Roxy's like. <laughs> what? what? <laughs> now is all of, is that whole restaurant full of morons? No, she, but she's like, she's like, yeah. what? What? What does that have to do with I don't anything? understand. And then, so then he was just, and he kept burying a hole everything he said he mm. was saying. So finally, he's like, well, do you want do you want to write something to corporate? She's like, no, I want you to write something to corporate. <laughs> right? Me? They're like, yeah. He like, do you want to make a statement and like all, all this stuff? He's like, well, Will, Will uh, I think that she the girl's pregnant or something? No, uh, the waitress no. Oh. with Adolf. With Adolf, with the new Adolf. Oh, too. A- Adolf, Adolf Jr. They're calling this one Gerbils. Yeah, Ava Braun. <laughs> Joseph, yeah. Joseph with an F. Come here, Braun. Come here, Adolf. We're going to visit. <laughs> yeah. um, These are little children. Right. No. No more for the yard house. <laughs> um, but anyway. It I would... mean, that's that sucks because if, if a person's not actually being like directly offensive to you like in that moment, they're just saying that they love something that actually is offensive. Right. Like that's like, how do you handle that? Right. Like that. That is it's not it's right. not super. Because she didn't say I won't serve you. Because I love Adolf Hitler. No, 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 she just no. Said, I love Adolf Hitler. Right. She, well, just, she didn't look at Roxy and say, how are you, Jew? You know, <laughs> yeah. she, she didn't like She's like, we have one kind of chicken. It's white meat. <laughs> right, right. Exactly. Um, we <laughs> go down a whole rabbit hole here. But, <laughs> but it, I'm just... But, you know, I get it, but it's it, it, she, she was leaving anyway. It was like her last day or something. Oh, really? Uh, apparently, but they, they were going to write something to the, they said they'd get rid of her now, or I, I don't know. But go back and listen to it. Listen, I managed a restaurant for, you know, a few years. Sure. I was like an assistant manager or whatever. If somebody ever came up to me, <laughs> I'm, at, I'm, I'm seating people, I'm, you know, making sure everything is taken care of, and a, and a, and a patron of the restaurant, the customer, comes and says, hey, your waiter, Josh, loves Hitler and he just told, told me us. you may want to do something about it. I'd right. be like, please stand right here. And I would go get Josh and I'd be like, what did you just say to this person? And then walk him out. Right. You're done. Goodbye. I, there's no two weeks. You can sue all you want, freedom of speech, but you cannot tell customers that you love a man that killed six million Jews. Right. Mm-hmm. Okay? Like, you just can't. So, so anyway, that, that's that's kind of where the story itself went. Okay. And, um, you know, what are you, you going to do? That's the, Roxy went, she said something, and 
That's the end of that story. <laughs> Over. So um, can I go back to Yard House? You can go or should back I still now. keep no, going to Wood Ranch? Because no. I really like Wood Ranch. Just, just make sure when you're there you say happy holidays. <laughs> yeah, just say happy holidays. Exactly. Um, <laughs> old, you know, no old nuts over here. Yeah, I'm yeah, about to right. get weird. I was, uh, I looked at, you know, we clip out. This is actually really funny. It's amazing how stupid people are sometimes. But I, I, I at this point, I don't, I don't know if it's amazing anymore. But we clip out parts of this show and put it up on the podcast channel. Mm-hmm. So... One of the clips yesterday was Willem Dafoe hates Christian. Mm-hmm. And it went into the whole thing about my neighbor who looked at Willem Dafoe. Is this just clickbait? Is oh, that the what it amount was? of lunacy, the yeah. amount of idiocy on the thing is like, way to go, Kalani. You really have hit the rock bottom. Clickbait here, Willem <laughs> Dafoe oh, hates my Christian. God. And it's like, oh my God, how dumb are you people? How dumb are you? <laughs> right, like, like right. There, was, there, was, there were a lot of people who watched the show that were writing going, dude. He literally says that his neighbor looks like Willem Dafoe, and that's why he's referring to him. Mm-hmm. And it just gets to these like people who've been hit in the head with sledgehammers who are just like, "That's not. He's not talking about Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Quick bait. Quick bait. Nine. He just he has it ready in his head like to any single time that there's something. Quick bait. Well, Quick you bait. know what? You ma- you made them actually click on something and waste like five minutes of their precious time of watching you know YouTube videos know, twenty four hours a day. We so like a you messed song. up. Called like click clickbait, clickbait. <laughs> Why you clicking on that video? Say clickbait, <laughs> clickbait. <laughs> Go do something productive. <laughs> Christian doesn't like Willem Dafoe. Clickbait, <laughs> clickbait. He he hates the foe and he hates DC. Don't click you bait. know that's what he see? He's a Disney shill, a Disney shill. So put it in your pants and do a fucking dance. Say a Disney shill, click Disney bait. shill. Clickbait, <laughs> clickbait. <laughs> You're welcome, America. <laughs> <laughs> that's the end. Of, that's the end. No, it's gonna... better than this song. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I like that you took. We were doing. We were doing like rhyming couplets, and then you just went on to the whole. F- <laughs> the whole thing. Like, <laughs> might as well. I'm ready to Disney shell and they say. All of Christian's trauma came out. Every <laughs> every problem. <laughs> I have. My child won't sleep. Click me. No, I don't love the last Jedi. Get over it, you motherfuckers. I can't stand it. Shut the fuck up. It's just a movie. It's just a movie. Shut the fuck up. Shut the the fuck up! It's just a movie. It's just a movie. The bassist is over in the corner. He's like, "What? He's living." We were supposed to be singing the sound of music. <laughs> hey, has anybody talked to Christian about it? Where to bring, where to bring it back to Hitler? He's yeah. lost. I know. <laughs> fuck Hitler! Boom! Doom! It's over. Oh, uh, so funny. This is, like just hearing it. Like, oh my god! Like, Why do they do a two-hour show? Why do they do? Where's the time codes? Where are the time codes? What is oh, this? People go nuts about those time it's codes. It's hysterical. Like, what's wrong? You handheld sons of bitches. Do a little bit of work. Yeah. The nuttiness over time codes. No, 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 no. I need. I don't have time to go searching through. Do right. it for me. I don't want to get off your ass. Do these people to know we show. used to have to like, you know, we couldn't pause things back in the day, yeah. and right. we had to record. No, with they them. don't need they, to. They, I don't understand. They don't do need people to. forget we didn't have? You know, no, internet? no, no. It start, I, I don't the, understand. For millennials, the world started in the year 2000, yeah. so it's, yeah. there's nothing before that. It was so just, weird. it was just funny. Was, I, I got really, sorry, Cody. Please, but guys, for for this is more for the avid. Like we just, I was talking to Doreen about yeah. this this morning. We have like this. The Collider Live audience right now is very reminiscent to me of when we first started the Schmoes No yeah. movie show. Like they're, they're yeah. yeah. Well, do you don't think so? Yeah. I think that they're good people. Yeah. You think so too. You are trapped. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't, I didn't mean to offend you. Um, but the pockets of people that they that, that we have now, this, yeah. this they're they get the show. You'll see, like, if somebody says something stupid, they go that hashtag the show, light them up. We've got like the hardcore. Mm. So many the fish here to build. Yes, so many. That's the audience to build. But like the, we've talked so much at this channel about like where the audience is, what the audience is. The audience is going to hate everything we do, no matter what. Like there, that's a, a the, lot of them. A but, lot of them. But then there's the awesome audience. Yes. Like there's the people that are always going to hate. Yeah. But I think that's they responded it. to this show because of what we designed it for, and that is just for us to be able to shoot the shit. We. Yeah. I, I feel like our personalities come out the most on this show because we mm-hmm. can goof around. We have these conversations that we would have at lunch. We have them here. Yeah. And I think that they like that pocket inside to see the the window outside to see to. See see it um and those fans are have are really have been great and supportive i met a lot of them at the at the schmodown live but what i will tell you is all those hardcore fans please go over to that video please go i know that you watched the show yesterday but go over to the escape uh, excuse me the collider podcast channel and go over there and look at the clip of willem dafoe hates christian and look at all the idiocy it's amazing it's really it, it wasn't where i never i didn't get mm. angry once i was laughing at how stupid Stupid yeah. people are. Yeah, people are really mad at me for shitting on Bohemian Rhapsody. 
Oh yeah, they yeah, yeah. It's it's you know somebody's gonna find something about it because it's dumb. I'm was sure. it wasn't eating... you, Josh? Yeah, <laughs> were you uh, writing all the comments? Yeah. <laughs> How he dare loved, you? I know it's true. No, <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> you can hate Bohemian Rhapsody all you want. I the fact that you the, the fact that you are vouching for Roma makes no sense to me. Oh, it does. She's, no, no I which know. by the way, somebody <laughs> corrected me uh, on a comment, and I appreciate it because I messed up yesterday, and I said. Uh, like I was, what I was trying to say is not that if you're white or whatever, it was is if you're American, if you're not Mexican, like you don't understand the culture, Got right? Him. So uh, it's not just about the culture; it's about like class, mm. more than race He's or got anything, no class. right? There's so many. <laughs> <laughs> no, I just mean like, like, like it's 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 the, the the story of the movie is there. It's just it's it's subtle, and it it's about class division. There's mm. all these things going on. It's just that nobody's nobody that the characters aren't telling you what's going on. Correct. Like in an Avengers movie where they're like, "This is what's going on. This is the dialogue." Let me read it for you because no, you're dumb. I get that, and like the the scene with the when the baby when she stillborn the baby, yeah, yeah, that kind of thing, Thanks. right? Spoiler, <laughs> spoilers. <laughs> well, you have you not seen it yet? If I said spoiler, then probably not. <laughs> <laughs> well, here I am. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> Sally, Click, yeah, Click, spoiled the movie. Why are you spoiling shit, Makuga? Christian spoiled three identical strangers. Clickbait. <laughs> Clickbait. Uh, Christian didn't see any good movies last year. Uh, well, Christian well. didn't see any fucking movies. <laughs> Clickbait. <laughs> Clickbait. Uh, I'll, be clipping, uh, I'll be clipping that I out. guarantee you. Because there are people who have made original music oh, for yeah. Schmodown. I guarantee you there's going to be a clickbait song, and I can't wait. I'll play it on the damn show. Absolutely. I'll play it on the show. Best one. Yeah. Body, yeah, the last Jedi. I, hope, I really hope somebody makes a metal version. That would be great. Yeah, it would be yeah. great. Yeah. Cops will listen like to a, a guar version? version? But yeah, so what? Guar, guar. Yes. Oh, yes. Yes. Yeah. Listen, I love, ghost. I love subtle movies that give me like some sort one? of a storyline. I don't know, off the top of my head. <laughs> Just Eternal name one, name one slow moving movie. Name a subtle movie, Josh. That doesn't have a lot of dialogue. Do you like Blade Runner? Uh, There's nah, no way so. you like it. It's nah. like my favorite movie. See, you don't yeah, like it. Yeah. Nah. See, Drainer and I. But yeah. so, okay. Broca. But oh, on the flip side of hanging. thing, I love slow moving television. Like I love The Wire. Oh yeah, yeah. You I do. Right. you know I I mm -hmm. like those slow moving yeah. story Body building. Was Bodyguard slow. Yep. was slow. That kind of thing. But if I'm getting a two hour movie that. Uh, I don't know what the plot is. I, there was no plot to that there movie. There was a plot. What was it? I just said it. There was. There was. There, it's basically. It's showing you a specific culture that other cultures can relate to. Okay. But you have this woman who is treated like a servant. And she's not treated very well, but she's also treated kind of like she's part of the family. Are there dragons And so in is it? she... <laughs> <laughs> For those listening that aren't watching, I just gave Christian a oh, yeah. there. Yeah. Are there wizards? <laughs> I think they could feel the that's silence the in problem. the room. Yeah. That's the problem. What, dragons? <laughs> no, that's, you don't, that, that's your problem. They don't have dragons. Was it a Bud Light commercial mixed with dragons? <laughs> Uh, when it go fish here, when it go fish here. You know what else I didn't like about uh, it is that was if it in you German? lined up. Can I tell you something? I miss Latina anger, and there it was. Like yeah. I love it because I don't see my sister, and my mom that much. But when it flashes, yeah. it's like yeah. everything. The world it's stops. Either, it's either complete silence or, yeah. a, or or a yell that just bounces you out the window like a Van Damme speech. <laughs> I'm like a Pavlovian And it's only because we're on video. Yeah. I know, right? Yeah. Yeah. Right, right. Oh, nice. See you later. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> she does. I get a, a scathing text message later. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you watch Rome again. <laughs> no, you're and not. Actually, here, here's the deal. How about what? In, because it, would you rather watch Roma or go to a haunted maze? You um, gotta pick one. Uh, Wait, but you have to do a commentary, which means you have to tell, talk no, to about the movie. No, I'll do a presentation. Movie. I'll like, fucking get pop I, I know, or something to I make him understand the I, movie. I'm going to tell you that. Don't give your answer yet. Okay. I know him well enough. I know what he's going to pick. <laughs> the haunted maze. What do you think? I mean, I hope yeah. he picks that. I think the haunted maze. I would watch Roma sixty more times. <laughs> no no way! Really? <laughs> yes. Do you realize what that does to me psychologically, emotionally, spiritually? It, 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 takes, it, take, <laughs> it takes a lot out of me. Yeah, it, it takes, does. Yeah. Roma, I could just be like, okay, well, here's this boring movie again. And right. at one point, it, you I, take a nap. You, I could, you could literally line up the cast of Roma, <laughs> and the cast of like could six re other re movies. It to you? And I don't know who they are. There was oh. no close-up of one person besides oh. the girl. What does it matter? The... What does it matter? Because I want to know what the like. characters look like. I want to see them. I want to be like, oh, Is it oh, because her, the movie's oh, in black and white? You can't tell. No, because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> what? Yes. No, you did say that. Wait, do you, you, th you think that's true? <laughs> Is he a dumb person? <laughs> 
Are you garbage. Like, you want to call garbage? Boy? Tell your garbage. It's Are you the opposite of colorblind? <laughs> you just can't see in black and white. I just want to know what one of the actors outside of the main girl looks like. I just want to know what they look like. He said this uh, years ago. This is something we. One of our first interactions. Josh said, "I don't like any movie Who's in Josh? black and white." Josh, uh, Josh said, "I don't like any movie." <laughs> Back when he was Swedish, Josh said, "Josh, uh, Josh was telling me." Josh, the booting on the green bed. Josh, come on, Josh, tell me another Yosh, story. Josh, 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 clickbait. Please, someone do a blonde job. Come on, tell me, Josh. <laughs> no, Please don't was... have your name, Tara, Josh. Josh, Josh. <laughs> I'm going to start calling you Yosh. Yosh. Yeah. Hello, Yosh. You'd, you'd be like my German mom when I lived in Germany. Like, this is Yosh, and this Yosh. is his cousin, Nuts. Yosh, is, you want cereal? <laughs> Sure. Yosh it up, girl. Yosh wants it lucky charms. So what do you have to say about yeah, Yosh? No, no, he, he, he Yosh is Swedish cousin. <laughs> he would say, I don't like any films that are in black and white. You don't think any films before 1970. Oh. So you don't like Casablanca. No. Or, you're getting roasted what? here, kid. But you do like Raging Bull. That's I love Raging Bull. Two black, black and white, white movies that I love. Yeah, Raging right. Bull. Raging Bull and Schindler's List. There oh, yeah, go. okay, fair. But Sin City, first one. Sin City. You should That's ask more them. like a colorful comic yeah, book. Yeah, that's not like a black Did you ask, the, did you ask your, the uh, Roxy's waitress if she likes Schindler's <laughs> She like, I like the gas part. <laughs> right, right. Oh, yeah. my God. I like no. what you did to the female architect. No! Yeah, yeah no. I don't think you're... This, I, I don't think you should be working here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we find... Uh, Do you like 2001 Space Odyssey? Uh, one of the best no movies way. ever yeah, made? No yeah, it's one of the best movies ever made. Boy, is, it is it? Oh, yeah. Yes, it's a Top worst five. part. Top I five. know. I, listen, I've said on the show, uh, any other show, I'm a simple man with simple <laughs> tastes. Yeah. Uh, when, Fair when enough. I, when enough. I read a description he, he on a movie. He loves Let's Be Cops. Let's, let's tell you this. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> Does that give you an English? Okay. Listen, MacGruber is in my top oh, ten boy, right, all boy. time. Oh boy, okay. Yosha's top ten. <laughs> you want it? I you. Nope, I'm good. No, so. and I enjoy those movies too. Man. Yeah, I'm good. I love those movies too. Yeah. But these other movies are no, actually you like. No, don't. Yes. You like Let's Be Cops? Let's be cops. No, not that one. Yeah. Yeah. Of course not that one. <laughs> right, but MacGruber's right. great. <laughs> okay. For, for, I'm a, I've said if, I'm a simple man with simple taste. If I see a description of a movie, it's like a cerebral journey. Click. Nope. I'm done. I don't need a cerebral journey of anything. I don't need to They're investigate like, anything. Like six cops, all are brothers, take down a Miami yeah. drug pit. So you, you don't want to think. Yeah. You ever see Tropic Thunder? Yes. That's Simple me. Jack. That's yeah. Simple Josh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah. Hey, I'll never go hilarious. full retard. But <laughs> simple Yosh. Just Simple Yosh. It makes my eyes ring. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, what a show so far. Huh? <laughs> Only an hour, ladies <laughs> and gentlemen. Yosh. I, I do, I do want to get some. Uh, I'd like to get a phone call or two in before we get I the know. hell out of here today. Let's do. Um, simple Yosh. <laughs> <laughs> I like it the bad oh, boys you know, too. You know, I can't. Simple by the time yosh. we get out of here, there's going to be tweets of the Simple Yosh poster. I can't wait to see it. Please tag me on it. in Spanish, though. Simple Yosh. Simple Yosh. Yeah, that, that's yeah. Yeah. close caption. Yeah. Also, no, people are like really liking you speaking Spanish yesterday. I didn't speak it once. Yes, you did. Yeah. Oh. You sang the song. Oh, yeah. Arroz con pollo. Café con leche. Chicken with rice. Coffee with milk. Clickbait. Clickbait. Wait a minute. They didn't talk about Spanish. They didn't talk about Spanish food. Way back in the day, we were doing a Shmo show, and I was... Yeah. It was like all of us. I think it was after Buzz Days. Oh, yeah. And I was playing the air guitar. Yeah. And so one of the comments was, McCougas never played guitar because oh. nobody plays guitar like that. Oh, yeah. like, you played air guitar improperly. How yeah. dare you? I know. I know. Well, that was First of all, I'm slapping the bass. Here. Slapping, slapping the bass. Yeah, it's, it's amazing. Um, yeah, it's like it's the same Game of Thrones fans. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. But let's do, again, hashtag Collider Live. Anything that you want to talk about. The one thing I'd like to ask the audience is that what... Anything that happened during the week that was a big moment of the show or a topic that was brought up that you guys want to rehash, talk about, what you think was the highlight of the week, please do that, it, whether it's a phone call or hashtag and Collider Live. Um, another thing I will say, and this is not to, to be despairingly to any of the wonderful regular callers that we have, but uh, give some other people a shot. <laughs> <laughs> because, like, ladies, I, call in, been, ladies. It, no, they, listen, I they're know. trying. Oh, yeah, Rachel Sweeney says she's trying to call all the time. We, yeah. I get messages. Messages from people that they try all day yeah. long, and they send me screenshots yeah. of how it's busy. But some magic, like it's it's fake Ken C Dub, mm. like they've got Nicaragua they've got Bully. they've got a way in, and just just for today, I'd ask our regular calls to sit back. Because it's a Friday show, and let's see if we can get somebody else in here today, too. Um, Maybe if you stop talking and let somebody... That's what I'm going to do, but I, I will. <laughs> but one, one, one thing I will do, though, before I stop talking... Uh, to <laughs> shot. <laughs> but what I'm going to do, though, and this is, just goes back to yesterday. I would have loved her to say that to Van Damme. Like, well, if you stop talking, we get some questions in there, oh, Dammy. Oh, I apologize. What did you say? <laughs> <laughs> you know, no, no. Some cookies. 
I said yes. I said yes. You want a glass of milk? I said yes. I said yeah. Um, he said yeah. Yeah. <laughs> get it right, Dorina. Yeah, get it right. You're God. off the show. I was like, I should have said C. Okay. But <laughs> because of the love, C. because of the love, if this is what I'm going to do today, if one of our regular callers calls in, hanging up on them. <laughs> just for today. Oh, good. Next That's it. next week. Next week. Open, open. By house. all means. But today, if we get a regular caller, I'm hanging up on you. Not because I don't like you. So I want to try somebody else. <laughs> Cody, got anybody in there? Yeah, let's see how this goes. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant. Hey, you're in Collider Live. What do we got? Hey, Dean from Toronto. Oh. Okay. How are you Hi. doing, buddy? What do you, got? What do you got for us today? Loving Collider Live. Loving everything that you guys are doing. <laughs> the highlight was definitely Jean-Claude Van Damme. He's the man. Yeah, it's going to be hard to beat Jean-Claude Van Damme. Just to, uh, yeah, like, just wanted to congratulate you guys. You guys are going to keep bringing out the best guests and it's going to be the best show on the internet. Thank you, Thanks, brother. I appreciate man. it. Cool. Yes, I, I agree. Thanks for the phone call. I Look, Toronto, it's gorgeous. going to be hard. I think that this will be fun every Friday to be like what we think will be the highlight. And we can ask the audience what the highlight of the yeah. week was. I don't think anything's beating Van Damme this week. I mean, the thing is, he rolled over everybody's question. Like, it, it was irrelevant. Like, no Josh questions. tried at Pittsburgh. You yeah. tried, Josh. <laughs> God credit to you. Because you, know, you saw your opening like a good hockey player yeah. and you got you saw them and you're like, I'm going to shoot this right shoot. in the corner no. of the net. He and he just blocked it. He, he blocked it. He, threw, he, he did play goalie in sudden death. So. <laughs> he threw a dart at a metal object and it just fell yeah. on the floor. Yeah. Yeah. He goes, because he, all over the world, Josh goes, oh, so you've been all over the world. What's your favorite thing to shoot a bit? And I tell you about yeah. his yeah. food. I was yeah. here. Yeah. I love Russia. I love China. It was, the, But he, he wouldn't acknowledge people, though, too. No. So yeah. ask, yeah. ask me a question. So I'm talking about this in my friend. Um, did you ever think about, uh, you know, maybe in Lionheart not using shoes in the final scene? <laughs> and my friend said to me, what the <laughs> <laughs> that's, right. what he, that's what he would do. He'd look, he'd acknowledge yeah. that you asked something, <laughs> but he's not answering. It's, yeah. it's, it's not, like, oh, that's, no. that's a great question. However, I want to talk about what I right. want to cool. talk about. But somehow he would come back to it. Yeah. And you'd just I be like, so I was running around and I had my shoe on, on one foot and I sat on the other one. And as I was running, I'm going back and forth and I saw a bird. But yes, I do love Pittsburgh. <laughs> and I was running, <laughs> he's literally the way yeah. zap. The way yeah. is just like, get you this. <laughs> he gets there. He gets there. And don't disrespect the robot. Oh, the AI thing was boring. I know. But the problem is he brought it up too late. Yeah. I wish he would have that up first. I could have had a whole conversation. Oh, yeah. about the it. man was a cyborg for Christ's yeah, no, sake. True. No wonder no, he, he, wasn't, he wasn't a cyborg. He, he was, was cyborg. He, cyborg. No, he wasn't the cyborg. In, in Universal Soldier, he's he was, half. He was Universal Soldier. He, right. he, had, he had not cyborg parts, but it was like it was uh, chemical. You guys okay. sound like nerds oh, right now. He was now. saving the cyborg. Mm-hmm. Saving the cyborg. Do you have yeah, a Universal yeah, yeah. Soldier figure? Sorry. I don't. Um, but I should get a kickboxer figure. You really should. Because I love you know, kickboxing. Before we go to live yeah. tweets, so John, what, is there any news going on we should talk about? Anything well, I mean, big? The, the thing I threw on here, news. if you guys want to talk about, because the title of the show is the Avatar thing about oh. the four. They, the, <laughs> isn't it interesting that they it's wrote the title of the show? <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. Yeah. The clickbait. Four, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> clickbait. <laughs> clickbait. Avatar got all the sequels. Clickbait. Avatar. Put it in a title. You didn't talk about it, you shills. You shills. Clickbait. You put it in a title. You didn't talk about it, you shills. <laughs> four blue people, motherfucker. Where's Pocahontas? Where's Pocahontas? Boom, boom, boom. All right, what do you got? It's a nature allegory. <laughs> um, no, the idea of the fact that uh, they wrote all four of these scripts for the Avatar sequels before they in started shooting. In one minute, just well, like they yeah. wrote the first script. Well, in one minute. Well, that's the thing. <laughs> well, there you go. That's, I, I don't disagree with Dorina there. No. Visually great film, script-wise. Mm, they I liked it. They didn't write the script. They Xerox Fern Gully and put <laughs> yeah. the forest, Yes, exactly, the last Josh. Rainforest. I liked it. But, uh, but it's such an interesting Sorry. way. We've seen films before where they shoot sorry. them back to score. back. Yes. But writing all four sequels before you even start shooting. Is an interesting decision, and I, I just like wonder what shot. you guys thought about it. I think that. it's brilliant. Yeah, I think Tim. Yeah, well written. So you're excited about all of these movies not that nec- are coming? Not necessarily. You're actually excited about four sequels. Not necessarily, but what I the but, fourth one just going to be a Disney ride. Listen, <laughs> yeah. but, but here's the thing that we're all doing that we've all done in the past, and we've all been like, sh- haha, jokes on you. If anybody has ever doubted James Cameron mm, in yeah. the past, you should shut your mouth. Yeah, right, because. I don't care what you think about the movie and whether you think it's a rehash of Fern Gully or whatever. You might have a valid he's argument. He's still a filmmaker. Then. And he's not yeah. only a filmmaker. Yeah. He came out of the gate with a movie in 98 or whatever it was in Titanic <laughs> that was supposed to be this pun intended disaster. Yeah. That it's they spent so much money at the time that it wasn't supposed to work. That Kept it was getting delayed. Out, it was coming out in like December or January. Mm. It was going to bomb. Highest grossing movie at the time forever. Mm. And what beat it? Avatar. Yeah. When nobody knew what the hell it was, it was an original IP. It was nothing that anyone's seen before. It was this new 3D, and you, people can say all the w- shit they want it's about the movie. It's still groundbreaking filmmaking. Regardless groundbreaking. Of the story. So like, yeah. he's a guy. He gets it done. Yeah. So I'm not going to doubt him to say I'm excited about it. I don't know. I'm always looking f- to, for brand new sci-fi and fantasy. Like, 
I want to see where it goes. And I also want to see if he's able to maneuver away from familiar material mm-hmm. because the dance with wolves and fern girl, we saw it before mm-hmm. what's new there's this talk about him going to be doing underwater stuff yeah. and all this well i was just going to say yeah. i know this is a, a silly thing to say but I want to see what James Cameron's Aquaman from Entourage would have looked like. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Anything, he, anything he does. He's done like five or six movies that have all been great. Yeah. yeah. All she, been great. This girl I dated for like three months, she is a body double. Looked like James was, Cameron? No, oh. she was doing it for like... Did you date James Cameron? No, I wish. Yeah. I would absolutely go gay with James. <laughs> a billion dollars? I know, right? I'll bend right Give over. Give me half, bitch! <laughs> <laughs> you can take this avatar. Yeah. Uh, so what, <laughs> But like, you um, going but, to, but no, he came she, back to it. Like she was did. telling me about the underwater stuff that they were doing, and it's fascinating. So the fact yeah. that Landau, and this was at the IMAX Q and A that we that uh, Collider had with uh, for Alita, he said like this: this is something new. And there's every film is going to be it's in, an insular film yeah. that explores an entirely new world. So for Star Wars fans, this kind of can get you excited that he's going to create an entirely new galaxy <laughs> with worlds and species, that's, and then bring them yeah, all together. To me, that's why I'm getting excited yeah. about it because there's a chance to create right. lore. Yeah. What I did like about uh, Battle Angel a lot, I liked the lore that was mm-hmm. that was created. Yep. I didn't necessarily like the execution inside of a, a lot of the script, and yeah. I thought the love story was kind of shitty, but the but what was there, and the groundbreaking technology, again, it looked really good. So I am excited to see these movies in the, uh, in the big screen, on the big screen. So, yeah, I think I, I... I mean, I enjoyed watching, like, I enjoyed watching the way it looked right. when I saw sure. it. I thought it was yeah. amazing looking. But after like two, uh, how long was it? Like two to three hours? Like two and a half two hours or whatever? Yeah, yeah three, after yeah. like mm-hmm. an hour and a half, I'm like, I get the story. Mm-hmm. Like, I, 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 I it, it can be done now. So, oh, yeah. so I was, I was locked I just, in. I don't, I don't for, for, I don't for care. Avatar. Yeah. 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 It, it's, yeah, made, yeah. it's Native so, Americans versus colonial. Yeah. That's what it is. It's, it's a story we've stuff. seen yeah. before, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, so if they make shorter movies that look great, I'm down to see them in the theater. They're not going to be shorter. No, that's what I mean. Speaking of lot, so I, Amanda watched and I we watched Avengers Infinity War for the first time last night. Not me, obviously, but Amanda. <laughs> yeah. Right? And we're talking about Gamora, obviously she was in, in Avatar, all that kind yeah, of stuff. Yeah. And so we're at the end of the movie, everybody's, you know, turning to dust and Amanda it, it cuts the credits and she's like, What the fuck? No, you're like she's right, she right. Doesn't, right. Doesn't knows the universe. Right? And yeah, and she's like, Um, is the green girl still dead? And I was like, We don't know. Like she could be, she <laughs> fell off the thing. She got a so stone. So she thought but everyone died. She basically she was, like, thought freaking everybody out her died, head. Yeah. right? And then she goes, "Did they kill the green girl so she could be an avatar?" And I was like, "Jesus Christ, where is your mind going?" Because <laughs> right, right, right. she knew. Yeah. Right, 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 it was right, a right. funny thing to say. Yeah. Yeah. The first thing you get. All right, yeah. I want to take another phone call, and then we'll take one more tweet, and we'll get out of here. Uh, Cody, got somebody? Yep. Hey, you are in Collider Live. Who do we got? Hi, my name is Wiley. This hey, Wiley. From Oklahoma, and. Look. Holy shit. <laughs> I am your guys' biggest fan. I've been following you guys for years. I'm literally shaking right now. <laughs> I am so happy. What's my up? My birthday's tomorrow. Whoa! Oh, yo, happy birthday. birthday. Yeah, it's my and, birthday. Uh, John Roca, Christian, you guys are literally my heroes in life. Oh, you heroes? Oh, thank you. What about me? <laughs> Not so there much. There it is. There it, it is. It's, gosh, you... But there's a question that I, because you guys are my heroes, and there's a question I've been trying to get in for years. I just want to know what you guys think of the movie The Color of Money, because that's that's my favorite movie of all time. Wow, interesting. interesting. Wow, okay. okay. Thanks for the call. Uh, Color of Money is what I mean. Wiley, happy birthday. Now, obviously, yeah. sequel to Sting. Right. Um, no, I, the Hustler. The Hustler. The Hustler. Yeah. Yeah. Sting, hustler. Uh, and, but, but you have Tom Cruise and that mm-hmm. young Tom Cruise. Yeah, Vinny. Yeah. It's it, the one I love. I love the movie, by the way. But I think that um, the thing that always sticks out to me is the Werewolf of London. That's the first time. Oh I, uh, yeah, that's the first time I ever heard that song yeah. was in that movie. It's, it's a it's a really good movie. Do you like it? I, I like it. I think it's a bit overdone at times. Like yeah. there's no need for a sweeping shot by oh, Scorsese I love the across the pool. Shots. That just makes no sense. It's pool. It's yeah. pool. People and so forget me, Scorsese did that. One yeah, too, right. People yeah. forget about that. But the, for me, it's the acting that really sells that movie. Master Antonio was fantastic, and then she doesn't get enough credit yeah. for how mm-hmm. great she was as, or is as an actress. And her relationship with Tom Cruise and Paul Newman holding her own against those two guys. She is a fantastic part of that movie and then where the story goes you get a little you i I don't think he deserved the oscar for it because he did way better performances in other films but it's still a fantastic performance i mean any paul newman movie really yeah yeah tom cruise's hair in that movie oh yeah riley's hair now oh i know it's fantastic 
Um, well, cool. Let's let's and get a, let's get a tweet. Hashtag collateral. Shout out to Wiley. I don't know if anybody remembers, but Wiley, played by Seth Green in the movie Airborne, character in a movie. I like that. You don't talk about Airborne as much as you used to. I know. To. I love Airborne. I know you do. Yeah. Remember, we used to we used to joke and say there was Airborne trivia that was coming up. And <laughs> no, yeah, 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 yeah. You used to get Are so you guys gonna play so games here again? Like last time, I one of the few times I was here last year, we played your Jeopardy game. Yeah, we'll play. Yeah, games. We'll play that, some was games. Yeah. Well, that was fun. I was, I was bad at it, but it was fun. We're gonna do that. We'll probably finally bring back the celebrity impression dating. Yeah, yeah. We'll do that. Sure. Uh, All right, what do you got? No, Hashtag there's, there's, a lot. Yeah, there's a lot here, but I don't know. There's a, just rehashing a lot. Is it like the PayPal card thing. Which PayPal? Oh, uh, right, right. About Cody. Right. Uh, people loving Darina. Is the one guy's like, yeah. I know I'm Finnish. I have a hard time speaking English when I'm thinking in Finnish. Uh, All that kind of. So they, they feel empathy. Uh, Some people want to talk about the Liam Neeson thing. I don't know if we want to bring it up. If you want to talk about time. it, you know, I'm glad that they brought it up because yeah. I, keep, I keep seeing comments. You're like, there was yeah. a guy, a guy yesterday. He goes, Oh, they brought up Kevin Hart every day, but they didn't bring up yeah. Liam Neeson. <laughs> What's going on? Collider. <laughs> we forgot. <laughs> like, Liam uh, Neeson show. Yeah, we are. They didn't bring show. up Liam yeah, Neeson. It's, Clickbait. It's yeah. tough, man, because like the guy, he, you know, so the the by. Correct me if I'm wrong. Yeah. So when he was a younger man, um, there was a woman that he was friends with. He was in Ireland at the time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in Ireland at the time. He was he was a younger man, and his friend, uh, his, a woman, his friend was just was raped. Right. So he made he and he was ta- he was rehashing the story with GQ. Yeah, it was one of these interviews he was doing for for Cold Pursuit. Yeah. Yes, and and he rehashed and he, and he said something along the lines as he, he was gonna he was gonna go out there and he was gonna get that black bastard. I think is what well, he said he, inside of his he, inside of his quote. He asked mm-hmm. the woman. He asked his friend what color was the guy and that's where the, really people are holding on to is the key okay. asked what color like, it was right. and, like, why? and this is his admission yeah. and she said black and then so no, he went I, out there looking for a black guy to beat up any black guy just, to beat up right and which is that night terrible yeah horrendous sure. um and it's one of those things to where i as as in his 20s or whatever he was too is yeah. a angry dude looking I think that he should be looking for a man, right, and not a right. black man. Like, why did right. he, why did he ask that specific question? Right, exactly. Yeah. Like, why? What was what was the excuse to yeah. just go beat up a, a black dude? I think like that's right. that's troubling and concerning. So sure. I think the stuff that is the you know the ridicule and stuff that he's getting right now and the 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 shit that he's getting is, is justified. Did you guys but hear? I don't think what it was Michelle, a detail. You didn't did you guys hear to. what Michelle Rodriguez said? I think yeah. it was her. Yeah, about Viola she Davis. Said, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it was like, well, he made out with someone black, so he's not racist. He That's said, "There's so no weird. way." Yeah. He goes, so "There's weird. no way she's he's racist because of how deep his tongue was down." Viola Davis. I think she was, cr- I think cr- I think she was <laughs> cracking a joke. Yeah, man. Yeah. But, she was but, cracking a joke. But you have to look at the whole the whole interview. He says later on that it unsettled him. The way he reacted to it, and then she's looking at as an older man looking back, going that that was a wrong reaction. He said, that. Yeah. so he's actually he, so so if you read the whole interview, exactly. like so why why context? People, so that's the thing. So people read a headline, right, and don't read the actual article. But, so right. he was saying inside, he was saying inside the article that he was wrong, and right? That he, he did, right. he did. He said it, it taught him a lesson about how right. how his anger was being motivated. And then later he did an interview with Robin Roberts on Good Morning America, yeah. where he tried and she, you know, she's black. She tried to like get him to talk, and he said like this is the deal. The whole point I brought it up was because it unsettled me what happened to me and what's the teachable moment. The teachable moment is like, I shouldn't have asked that question, right. uh, but I also you know, learned the lesson from that situation. He's I not grew defending up in the Ireland. behavior. Yeah, right. Yeah, he's right. not. And he said, I grew up in Ireland. This was kind of, yeah. you know, during this time, this is kind of how I was, but I know I'm not that way now. Right. So. It, there's two sides to this thing. There's two yeah. sides to it. So, uh, what do you guys think out there? What's your What's your thoughts on it? Get a debate going, whether it's in the live chat right now or whether or not you're uh, you're watching on the replay. Go ahead and comment. What are your overall thoughts on the Liam Neeson situation? For sure. Um, look, we don't. I wish we could talk about this for a lot longer, but mm. that's our show today. It's, it's a that's fuller, the show. It's f- Friday. It's over. Here Cody, you can't do this every Friday because I will not <laughs> come on Fridays. I kind of like that you do it, to be honest. Um, but once again, guys, thank you so much for joining us for these five days a week. Make sure that you subscribe. Even if you watch us every single day, subscribe to us, whether it's on Spotify to get our episodes there or on Apple Podcasts, do it over there. It helps the show tremendously. Like, comment, do all of that. Check us out. I'm pretty sure today the live event tickets for Chicago and Los Angeles are going to go up today, so keep on checking my Twitter. I'll post that up. Thank you, guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Collider Live.